back with another video guys welcome 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 i really like this topic and you know i i think this topic may open your mind up a bit about materialism and material possession first was inspired by this topic by another youtuber named trey cockrum pretty cool business guy when he was talking about this topic it really opened my eyes because i was kind of thinking the same thing right because my content touches on self-image it touches on changing yourself from your fundamental core in order to match your desired goals right you as a person has to match um, the desired outcomes you want. When it comes to the topic of material possessions and spirituality, a lot of times we um, completely separate and compartmentalize the two, right? Maybe you might believe that those two topics just have nothing in common. You can kind of challenge this idea because if you think about it, how you handle you know, materialism and uh, the physical things you want um, can have a big bearing on your spiritual progress and your inner growth. And this is the perfect time to do this topic because it's like Black Friday season, Cyber Monday season. I guess it already passed technically, but it's like the holiday season. You know, people are hopping out their cars, buying stuff um, in a frenzy. So if you're buying stuff in a frenzy, nice. Keep watching this video for how you buying stuff in a frenzy can actually help you cue intro. A material possession, something like, let's say you wanna buy something expensive or a nice piece of clothing or a nice watch, I'm into watches. This fine piece that you're buying a lot of times it can help you embody a self-image that you want to have. For example, let's say you want to see yourself as, you want to be successful. And first you have to see yourself as, as successful. That's like a common saying, which is pretty true. Well, what's a great way of starting to see yourself successful? A lot of times people can try visualization. They can try the more um, nebulous concepts of seeing yourself as successful. But a lot of times, to be frank, you know, people can see, can feel successful when they're wearing things that successful people may wear, right? And that's why some people may gravitate towards luxury brands, etc. Sure, right now, they're not necessarily someone that can get that luxury brand consistently, but if they get a piece of that luxury brand, they can, it can start that process of um, improving the self-image to match the, the success, right? That's one thing. It can help you with your identity shifting way another part of this is that and this is what trey cockrum kind of touched on in his video that i really liked is that material possessions can help you understand that you actually don't need them to feel worthy and successful now in the previous statement it's uh you know i'm, I'm saying material you can use material possessions to feel successful to feel like your ideal self correct but as you get those material possessions and then as you get closer to that ideal self what starts to happen is you're like, I don't need this stuff to, to feel like this anymore, right? It's me, and at my core, I know um, I'm embodying this, 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 this thing. So the material possessions start to lose its value and you start to look at the further, more deeper things in life, the more important things in life, right? At, at, a, at a previous level, you were like, oh, I need this watch, I need this piece of clothing, I need to be around these people, I need to go here, I need to do this. And then you start embodying it and you get to that level and then you're like, I don't really need to do that anymore. And then material possessions, you start to look at them for what they really are. They're just objects, right? There's objects that we assign meaning to, we assign value to, but they don't really make you feel um, any different in the long term. It, it's, it's a very shallow thing, right? Because at first you enjoy it, it's amazing. And then as time goes on, you get very much used to it. And it's the next thing you want to chase after and chase after and chase after. I, I touched on this in my video on scarcity. You can check it out on, I think it's, I forgot which part of understanding people, but you should go check it out. Uh, and another thing with this is that as you gain material things, you can actually give more, right? And this kind of can touch on spiritual spirituality and, um, and things like that and inner growth, right? You start to have enough where you can just give and you're 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 in abundance so you can take efforts to have to help other people get in abundance um because your ties to your material possessions aren't as strong anymore you're you're like there's less scarcity behind um behind those possessions and you can just give and 
in different religious texts, right? Giving is 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 applauded. It's 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 uh it's encouraged because you're helping somebody else, but also you feel good. Like you feel like you've leveled up in a certain way where this thing that you're giving is something that and let's say it's like new, it's a new thing. It's not like something you don't need anymore. But like let's say it's a new thing. Uh, and at a certain point, it was something that you really desired. But when you give it away, you feel like, I moved on idolizing this material possession so strongly. And it's gotten to a point where I view it for what it is, right? I'm able to give away, give it away, in a sense. I'm also gonna add, you know, and I'm referencing Trey's video because it's so so well it's so well put together. I'll probably put it in the description box. But when you accumulate material possessions, it's about accumulating things you genuinely like from your core, right? It's things that genuinely speak with, speak to you and that you that you really like, rather than what you think you should like or what a trend is, because then you just be falling to a, a societal trap. So that's another thing. You want to make sure it's something you genuinely like and you genuinely feel like this is something that will make me. Um, embody that version of me that uh i would you know i want to be um and another thing trey said in his video is that you know this this material thing shouldn't be something that takes more that takes more than it gives so classic example is a really nice car you have guys that like let's say they get a promotion or something and they get a really nice car yes the car can bring in the feeling of being successful but what happens the car starts to take more than it gives right they it, it starts to require um like the like the servicing the car is very expensive um the insurance is crazy right maybe the gas is expensive and things like that and maybe if that person is doing a, a car payment the car payments are insane um and didn't factor in those types of things so the, what what starts to happen is the car starts to take more than it gives and it's actually a net negative rather than a net positive in that person's self-development so that's the trap some people fall into you know with materialism they just keep accumulating materialism thinking it'll make them feel a certain type like feel feel good but all the materialism they accumulate they get used to it and then it becomes a net negative in their life but they don't see that they just see the trends that go on in society um in their friend group etc and they just keep accumulating right accumulating so that's another nuance of this, right? Um, to use materialism the right way, you have to understand that there's a cap in it when it comes to reaching a new self-image. There's a cap. And then when it's past that cap, you look at that thing you got and you're like, okay, that was cool. I still kind of enjoy it, but I understand it's just a material possession. Rather than accumulating, 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 thinking that these things are you and you identifying with um, these things. So guys, in your holiday shopping just keep that in mind you know as you're giving out gifts you know uh you can let your loved ones know that hey you know this can help you with your self-image but at a certain level um it probably loses its flair it'll take doing the deep work to feel better to feel great about yourself or um you'll just outgrow that possession entirely now that may sound a little deep so maybe you could jazzy it up a bit but uh yeah so i hope you guys kind of found, found value in this video i think this topic is kind of underrated but it's huge if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe thank you for the support comment below your thoughts on this if you can relate whatever let me know take care i'm out of here <laughs>